Now we have our button up short sleeve. Now this one is going to be a special fold. It's going to be the super half fold. It's not as large of a shirt, not as much material, but it is imperative that you take the time to button it up before you fold it up. So take the time from top to bottom, and these have snaps, which are cool. I wish they would make more shirts with snaps. So snap them all up. Still want to keep the shirt as neat as possible. These are the type of shirts that you would generally have on a hanger, but again, for organizational purposes, to have more space, to have things appear cleaner on the eye when you're glancing at your shelf, you're going to fold this one. And it's still going to keep it as wrinkle-free as possible, and you're going to be pleased with the organization. After you button it down, then I want you to fix the collar. and fix the sleeves and just look at it so you have good presentation so you can see where am I going to make my folds how am I going to keep this nice and even so to do our super half fold you're going to hold top of the shirt bottom of the shirt and that's the super half Woo! press it back out The sleeve is away from you, the middle portion is next to you, and you're going to take the bottom and pull it to the top. And that's what I like to do in most of the folds. Now bring it back center, pull the sleeves, although these are short, they're almost cap sleeves, you don't have as much to work with, but pull that in, and let's take the bottom up one more time, and now you have the super half fold.